Did you know that on the Small for Games channel, my channel, the most uh, watched video, like not in terms of views, but in terms of like how long people stayed there for, is the video where you played W2K19. Are you serious? No. Welcome back to the Culture Swine Podcast, episode five, everybody. I'm Jaren. This is JL. Uh, how you doing? Bad now. <laughs> oh, okay. I was, doing, I was doing all right before. Then I kind of killed your confidence. Yeah. Well, you know, it is what it is. Life is unfair. Uh, welcome back to the Culture Swine Podcast. Did you set the mic right? For today's episode. Not today, Grandma. Uh, <laughs> well, everybody, uh, this is episode five. We're going to be doing the top ten Drake songs of all time. Uh, but before we jump into it, uh, how are you feeling? I just uh, told you how I'm feeling. How are you feeling? You feeling bad? Yeah. Why are you feeling bad? Because you hurt my feelings. I do Yeah. You know, life, life is life is is not it's not fair. I you mean, know? yeah, especially when you have assholes like you in life. Wow. Yeah. I okay. mean, a holes. Okay, that's cool. That's how you feel. Okay. Well, uh, last week we did top ten XXX Tentacion songs of all time. I don't remember who won. I'm gonna go back and check who won. Uh, oh, you did a poll. I, I yeah, I do a poll every week now. No, no. I'm a professional. Second week, are you doing a poll? Right. The lighting was good. Hey, it fixed itself. Hey, can't wait for that to change in about two seconds. Let's see. So the XXX Tentacion songs that got it changed. It changed. It changed. That's funny. It changed again. Oh, come on! What is the difference? Hey, man. This freaking camera sucks. You try to hide the chips again? Yeah. You, you didn't even put it in camera? God, how are you going to sneak one into your mouth without anyone looking? <laughs> wow, okay, cool. Uh, so, top 10 XXX and Tosti on songs of all time. The winner was... Uh, with, <laughs> with a whopping two votes. <laughs> Your boy. Jaren Walker won again. Oh my god. <laughs> well, maybe maybe this will be different because it's kind of a more mainstream episode kind of deal. Uh, we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing um, something that everyone might have an idea about. Not everyone knows uh, XXX Tentacion or his work or his music and stuff like that. But everyone in the world knows whether you like him or you hate him. Knows who Drake is. Uh, would you like to, since you're the information guy? Kinda. You want to give us a little information on on Drizzy, Drizzy Drake? I need your information about Drake, and except for that fact that he uh, heard he's an asshole. <laughs> really? Yeah, I heard he's a douchebag. But besides that, I don't even know what to say. About I can imagine Drake being a ba- like a mean guy. But he's not like a out front asshole. He's like a like a business wise backstab kind of guy. Like how so? He'll take your bitch. <laughs> like type of guy. Like I, I saw a video of Lil Pump. The other, the microphone's not oh, even set. Oh, yeah, that's... Lil Pump the other uh, day, I don't know if it was the other day, but it was like... Bro, that's not set, dude. <sighs> Excuse me. That's... Uh, yeah, it was like Lil Pump actually like took this dude's oh, yeah, girlfriend. Made, made him, made him uh, FaceTime. Made him and FaceTime. he FaceTimed him and was like, oh, she's with me now. Thanks, what kind of freaking person does that? And he was like trying to talk. <laughs> I remember that. I saw that a while ago. Like, put her on the phone. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> uh, but banter. But um, Drake is a guy who's... Had a lot of controversy, you know. He he's been called out for stealing people's flows, people's beats, yeah, people's lyrics, all that stuff. But remains at the top of the music uh, industry. Why, why do you why do you think that is? Illuminati. The Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I doubt it. I just I, I think. Uh, I don't think people know or care as much. Like, if it sounds good, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, Illuminati is a joke, obviously, but... You are very low for this episode. Huh? You're talking very low for this episode. Really? Illuminati! (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) I signed a contract with Illuminati, that's why. Oh, you're you're in the Illuminati? No, I'm not in the Illuminati. uh, That's exactly what somebody in the Illuminati would say. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, did you need a triangle chip? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so, you know what? I <laughs> thumbnail for all the videos in this fame. The thumbnail? What do you want me to What other what thumbnail would I put? I just glanced over and just made the, like, it's like the same video. No, somebody called, me, somebody called you out for that. They were like, oh, uh, 
why why is that other guy on his phone every single time you upload a clip <laughs> yes. from the highlight on your uh, on on the on the on your Instagram page? I'm like, hey man. My girlfriend said that you wear the same clothes in every single episode. That's true, actually. That's the funny part. Which is funny, because in episode two and three, you wore the flower shirt with the gold chain. And you know what's funny? I was like, I, today I was like, oh, he's wearing a different shirt this episode. The first episode, he wore this gray thrasher hoodie. Not the green jacket. Not the green jacket. You guys jacket. can't see my pants. I wore different pants the first episode and the second episode. So. No one could see your pants. I'm just saying. Was there, was anyone so able to see your pants? Same clothes, not the same clothes. Imagine we, were, imagine we were doing this without the table. How we did. whack would that we did. look? We did. I know, I'm saying, but like, imagine we like, I wouldn't have liked it as much. I think this table saved this podcast. <laughs> this table, this, it breaks. This table crumbles. Um, but yeah, uh, Drake is very, yeah, very I forgot yeah, I forgot what we were doing for a second. Uh, Drake is a very big part of music as a whole. He's going to definitely go down as one of the greatest artists of, I guess, our generation, whether he, or not he deserves it. Um, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to list our favorite, personally, our own opinionated individual top 10 Drake songs of all time. So uh, we're going to have a poll in the upper right hand corner of our YouTube uh, video. You can guys can vote on whether or not you think my list is better or Joe's list is better. Currently, I am leading 2-0 in terms of polls. How do you feel about that? I don't really care. Biased? Yeah. I was gonna say that, but like I was like, I'm not even. I'd like to welcome everybody from the Smaller Frames yeah, channel. It's pretty much um, our whole family. Whether or not, I mean, it's been two people. Two people vote. Five when you count the last three people too. That's true. It's. Uh, I mean, who's to say it's not the same people? That's some Illuminati stuff right there. But <laughs> so, um, is there anything we want to say before you before we jump into it? Before we hop in it, I don't know. Welcome. So I say every time you ask me that. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. It's kind of too late. It's going for like five minutes. Hey, man. I'm going to pull up my list. <laughs> You're going to pull up your list? Yeah. All right. So uh, as always, I know for you audio listeners on iTunes out there or Spotify or Stitcher, you, uh, you're not necessarily going uh, to know who wins until we say it, but we always do rock, paper, scissors to figure out uh, who, who goes first on the list. So you, you ready for this? You ready to get this hot fire? Yeah. Here who we won go. last week? Me, right? You win every freaking week. No, yeah. you won one week and smash. All right, here we go. We're, we're going to do it straight on. It's going to be the first one. Not two out of three. Not five out of seven. It's one round only. I mean, I, I, have, I have a 33rd and third, 33 and third chance of winning. But you take that. But I, I'm better. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. So you take that. Come on, plus come on, come on, come on. Right. You know, I, you pick Rock. <laughs> And no one picks scissors. So if I pick rock, I think the other person has to pick scissors. But everyone picks paper. So I'm thinking, okay, he's going to pick paper. And that's he picks rock. He always lose. And he picks rock. Hey, man. So fine. You know, I'm, 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 I'm very, 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 very confident that my number two and my number one is not on your list whatsoever. It's songs that me and you have both heard before. It's songs that everyone have heard has heard before. But I don't think that you thought about this the depth that I thought about this too. You're probably right. How much time of thought did you put into this list? A while, but like, I didn't like put anything that's like not mainstream on the list. So like, all my songs are like pretty mainstream. All your songs are mainstream. My songs are. For the most part, I think I have one non. Like all, a lot of Drake songs are mainstream. Every every Drake song is mainstream. So is al- if it's on his album, does that not count as mainstream? Hmm? If it's on, if it's just on his album, and it's not on the radio. Does that count as mainstream still? Because then yes, every single Drake song is mainstream. It's gonna like I feel like it's gonna hit like social media in some way, like memes or whatever, like something. Because most of was yeah. Know Yourself on the radio. Know Yourself. And that was a huge meme song. Yeah, it was right. That's funny. So, my well, whoa! <laughs> you know how that shit goes. Uh, so with that being said, let's freaking. Ju- I feel like we do something before we jump into this, don't do we? The rocker was it? I'm pretty sure that's. That's it. Good. Okay. Well then, feels like it's been a month since the last podcast. Yeah, gotta go for it. What is, What is your top ten drink oh, song 10. of all time? Top ten. Number ten. I put worst behavior as wow. my number ten. Wow. Worst. Okay. Why? Why? Why number ten? Um. As number 10, just because I think it was a really good song. I put it on the list, and the main reason it's even on the list is because that was, like, the first Drake song I really 
got me back into listening to Drake or just hip-hop in general, so I had to, like, myself honor it. But I just think the rest of the songs that are on here are definitely a lot better than this one. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's no necessary reason for it to be number 10. You know, when I was picking my list, I, uh... I didn't even go off of like what the song really means. I just kind of go off like I really like this song. Yeah. I like I, I don't usually do that with the other lists. The only list I didn't do that with is probably the artists. The rest of them I usually. I mean, you can't do really. Yeah. That's not just did opinion. You can't base what what their songs mean from artists. I'm talking about like opinionated, like like. Uh, well, I I wasn't listening to what you said. I thought well, what I was what I was saying was, <laughs> I I based the list based on mostly opinion rather than like numbers that's what i meant i feel you okay fair enough uh my number 10 is uh, something that i have to go back and check because i don't remember yes this is a song that you probably don't know uh it's a song off the thank me later album it was drake's first album it's one of the first drake singing songs i've ever heard in my life and it's something that i really really like and that's karaoke uh i don't know if you've ever heard this song before I've- Definitely heard it, but probably just don't know the name of the song. I don't even want to go into it because it's not like it means anything. Uh, and th- that's not really not what Drake is about, you know. Drake's not really about the lyricism. He's kind of just about like like the the cool vibe and 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 uh, how do I put it? Lyric stealing. Not li- <laughs> lyric stealing, but like the like the, you know the feeling. He's about the feeling that you get with you know. And this song is just like, huh? This is a nice. Fun. So I think it's one of Drake's best songs that he's sang ever. I don't think anything that Drake has made singing wise, mm. maybe with the exception of a couple. Let me just go back and check. Uh, maybe one, <laughs> two, is you know I think only has two better singing songs. But <laughs> check your list real quick. Yeah, to check my list because I, I yeah. Anyway, again, Mister, what what is what is your numero nueve? Number nine is. Started from the bottom. Wow, that's not on my list. Yeah. Started from but I think it, uh, you know this song was very overplayed, even though I rarely heard it when it came out at the time. I just for me that song was like I would always hear. I wasn't really like listening to it until I started listening. Until I heard Worst Behavior, and then I like listened to that song harder. Um, that's why I was on the same album. That's right. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I would just hear that song all the time, but yeah, it was really like overplayed and really mainstream. That's why I didn't pay as much attention to it until later. Mm. Um, one idea, like, I, it, it's, I always say this for like songs, but it gets me hype, bro. Like, I like that. Well, yeah. Starting Bottle gets you hype. Really? Wow. Started. The, the video, too. Started. The video, too. Started. Uh, Started. There was a lot of controversy behind that song. What was that controversy? That he didn't start from the bottom <laughs> oh, whatsoever. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Because you know he had a he started had a, from like the middle. He started from you know the upper middle. Sub, the started from the upper middle class, <laughs> and then we now we at the now we at the upper class. Hey yo, <laughs> start started. Um, that's cool. I mean, it's not. I don't say it's a bad song. Mm. I just I, I don't know. There's just something about it that I just. I have honorable mentions by the way this week. With the yeah, do you have honorable mentions? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So we trade it off. Okay, that's cool. Um, so, with that being said... I have one. You have one album mention. Yeah, I have one. We'll get to it later. Alright. So, my... <laughs> my number nine song is the last song that I'm sure Jail has never heard before. Eight, eight, eight to one is the song that he's heard, is a song that he's heard before, but... Um, I asked him a couple weeks ago what he thought the best Drake beat of all uh, time yeah, was. Yeah. I still haven't heard that song. And he said, uh... Non-stop. That, that's, that's what you think the best Drake beat is. I said it with a question mark, by the way. I didn't say, like, non-stop. I was like, non-stop? Oh, you don't think it is? No. So what do you think the best Drake beat is? Uh, I'm not sure. And when I say beat, I don't mean, like, drums. I just mean, like, as an instrumentation as, like, a whole. Oh, mm-hmm. And that's why I... It's one of the reasons I picked uh, this number nine. It's called The Winner by Drake. It's, all, it's before his first album even came out. It's, <laughs> he he looks so funny in that that cover of that song when he sent me that. Yeah, it's from a long time ago, and he um he the whole point of the song is pretty pretty much like I feel like that should have been the song that started from the bottom was trying to be. It was kind of like I feel like this is one of Drake's more lyrical songs. Like hey, like this is you know 
uh, like my goal is to get a Grammy. This, I, you know, I've been through, you know, this stuff. And, you know, now I'm close. Now I'm close to getting a Grammy. Plus that on top of, like, the the freaking just cool, awesome piano beat. And, like, I don't even know what instrument he freaking used. Or not instrument, but, like, what kind of sound it was supposed to be to make the, the, the beat for it. It was, it, I just really like it. I like it, like it, I like it a lot. Um, I don't know how, how else I can really elaborate on it, to be honest with you. Uh, by the way, before we get to our number eight pick, everybody... Next week is spo- it's supposed to be, supposed to be, our first album review on the Culture Sweat podcast. It's supposed to be uh, either one, it was supposed to be three. We were supposed to review Lil Pump's album, Kanye West's album, and 6 ix album. For some reason, within the span of a week, we might not get any of them. <laughs> so... It came out that that Kanye said, "Oh, I'll uh, postpone I'll, it again." Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put out a release date to my album when, when I'm finished, finished with the album. You had a whole month and a half after you said you were going to release the album in the first place. He goes because he he did some performance with Kid Cudi with Kid Kid See Ghost. And he was like, "You know, I realized after that performance that my album isn't finished." Like, freaking, give me a break, Kanye. Honestly, Is this the one he's in the box and he's just like, "Yeah, he's in the box." I really want to go to a Kanye West concert one day. <laughs> I'd be amazed. We're going to Travis Scott next week, everybody. Indeed. We're going to record it. We're Start going to record out. the whole concert. Yeah. That's going to be episode six is the concert. Get thrown out. <laughs> Get thrown out. Um, yeah, so Kanye West postponed his release date. Lil Pump hasn't even announced a date. He just said November. So thanks, Lil <laughs> Pump. And 6 ix going to jail. So, like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> But uh, our I mean, goal- I don't think JL should stop the album release though. I think it's probably it's probably still gonna come out. Who's gonna release it though? Him? Oh yeah, he fired everybody. <laughs> yeah, he fired everybody. Plus him and some of the people he even fired are in jail with him now. Or like, or yeah, they got arrested with him. So I don't know. Maybe he gets out on bail and releases the songs. He's gonna get out, bro. He's freaking. I don't know, cause that judge told him, uh, you know, keep your nose clean, or you're going right back to jail, and he. Didn't. What's racketeering? I don't know. I looked it up and it was like not really specific. And I didn't. Have, I was at work, so I like couldn't really. It said something about like. Um, I'll look it up right now. Why not? Googling right? things on air with JL. He's googling things on air. Let's see. That was enough time. Okay. He's <laughs> he's still googling things on air. Everybody, <laughs> we're googling <laughs> things on air. <laughs> he hasn't even typed the word in on Google. Googling <laughs> things <laughs> on <laughs> air. It's super wrong, but he Google's just press me. enter on Google's the Google, Google search. Come. He's Googling the first thing that comes up air. is Takashi 69. <laughs> he's stolen so he can rewrite the word because he spelled it wrong. No, on air. <laughs> All right, there we go. Google provided this definition, or provided me this definition. Racketeering is when organized groups run illegal businesses known as rackets. Or when an organized crime ring uses legitimate organizations to assemble, oh, embezzle Embezzle. funds. I said assemble. Such activities can have devastating consequences on both public and private institutions. So I still don't get what that means. That's why I freaking said. Uh, Okay. So he he did something to get money, more money, pretty much. Hey man, you rich? Why you doing this, man? Yeah, you rich. Why why you need more money if you rich? I just watched that freaking interview with him today. On the, what, on the breakfast club? Yeah. I'm hot. I'm hot. So I gotta start banging on the table. I'm the hottest out, artist out in the world right now. He's been saying that <laughs> since he came out. And then, then later on in the interview. I'm the hottest, art, hottest artist. In New York. In the country. In the country. No, in, 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 in the country. country. Is he the hottest artist in the country? He's like, who the hottest artist in, <laughs> out of New York right now? And then, and then Charlamagne goes, Cardi? Cardi B? <laughs> now he goes, you, you and Cardi. You and Cardi. I, 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 shout, shout out Cardi. Out of me and Cardi, who 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 the who 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 the who who the who the hottest out of New York? He goes Cardi. <laughs> he goes no 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 no. Did you did you hear that reaction from me when I was at Powerhouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to go to Powerhouse once. Yeah, we know we told that story already. We didn't tell it. We did. We did. We told it. I think last week. Oh, I thought you said you were gonna have like an episode dedicated to it, so we didn't. No no. Um, 
Yeah, power house is POS. I, yeah, I have so, something in my eye, so that's why I keep it in my eye. Any, anyway, moral of the story is we don't know what we're doing next week. <laughs> we, so we're hopefully album reviews, if the albums get released, at least one of them, yay, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. But uh, we're on to number eight now, everybody. Oh, shit. I'm number, sorry. you just forgot what podcast we're doing because we were Googling things on air. And bantering. And pay. Best I ever had. Wow. Hey, oh, that is you an, I believe, an honorable mention on my list. You hey, best I ever had. go ahead. Um, I like that song because it's, it's a feel good song, you know what I mean? It reminds you of that, that favorite gag or growl you have in your life, you know? Just yeah. the best one to have sex Just with. The be- yeah, cool. The best one you ever had. Who's the best you ever had? Best I ever had. <laughs> 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 you need it. Um, okay, so, so oh, yeah. Never mind, let me not say that. No, go ahead. No, I was going to say, shout out to Crystal because I'm wearing a different outfit, but I'm not. You're not. Yeah, no, you're not. So, so we literally weird. went over that yeah, yeah. 10 minutes ago. Fuck you, Crystal. <laughs> Just hope you know that. You're trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I had you in my mind when I put the jacket on because I wasn't going to wear a jacket. I was just going to watch the Is that right? Yeah. You can always change clothes. I have, I have a whole laundry bag full of clean clothes over there. I might. <laughs> you good? You sure? I might. All right. I have a different shirt under. Hmm? I have a different shirt under. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Anyway, um, is, is, is there any more elaboration? It's another awesome to... shit shirt. It's just green instead of. Uh, we still talk about the shirt. <laughs> yeah, instead of. Uh, instead of um, no, I just I, I like the song by uh, Drake. Like I said, because it's a feel good song. I like the way he uh, sounds on the song too, and just the way the whole song comes together. Uh, yeah, that's really it. I mean, cool, cool, cool. That's explanation. your number eight, huh? Yeah. My number eight might be a little shock to everybody. Because I uh, couldn't really think of another song to that is from this album or from his more recent ones that are you know better than this, except maybe uh, Big Say maybe one. Um, my number eight is Passion Fruit. Ah, that's a nice song. Yeah, I uh, this one, again one of the you know one of Drake's singing songs. You could honestly, except the first like uh, the. Except like the first like thirty seconds where he's just like it's really long the intro for that song. where he's just like cursing for like <laughs> like thirty seconds. Uh, you can play that song anywhere, you hold know. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's his dad, though. Doesn't sound like him. Is it? It sounds exactly like Drake. No, it sounds too like 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 not like Drake. It sounds like Drake. Like what? Oh God, if it's not Drake, I'm hold gonna kill me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna kill dad. me. I'm pretty sure it's his dad. I hate. I hate. Hold on, hold on. Hold I hate on. finding about. I hate finding out about Fuck stuff. Fuck that shit. Like when you think a lyric is what a lyric is, and that's then you the find worst feeling. Especially when you're like confident that's what the lyric was. Like, what was it the other day? We were talking about, like, an X song? Um, it was, like, Not No Bitch. No, it was, it was Ski Mask. Uh, no, it was, it was uh, Boy, I'm Sipping Tea in your Yeah, book. I thought it was Bitch for the longest time. You want me to ruin one more song for you? Yeah, hey, what's up? Uh, Kiki by 6 9 Fetty Wap, doesn't say taking a trip to the store. He does it. That's exactly what he said. I don't care what you said. <laughs> no, because exactly when I found out what it is, I hear it every time now. You want to know what it is? Stars. Doesn't uh, say stars. About to take care. a trip to the stars. That is, no. Next time you hear that song. I don't care. He said trip to the stars. That's it. About to take a trip <laughs> to the stars. <laughs> anybody you ask is going to say that because that's what he said. <laughs> to the stars. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, we found that on the Apple Apple lyric shit. Yeah. They be slacking because they have a whole different song for, uh, I think it's like Take a Step Back or something on, on Apple Music. Completely different song. No, but if you hear it, you, it stars. If you hear it, like... Because taking a trip to the store doesn't make any sense. Or stars. I mean, but you can't take a trip to the stars. But you can take a trip to the store. <laughs> I, I don't know who raps about taking trips to the... I thought Fetty Wap did for the longest. Damn. So Drake, everybody. Uh, Drake, Passion Fruit. It's a song you can play anywhere. Uh, it's a feel-good song. Get you in your field, man. And the, again, it's something where the instrument, the instrumental is, just, yeah. is, is really, 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 really fun and, and cool. If I would have thought of that song, I would have definitely thrown it on my list. I didn't Actually. Even, yeah, I didn't even think of that song. I wow. Know, and the song Charted, too, is one of Drake's more popular songs from the... Recent years? Recent years. Um, I don't really have anything, like, as, like, from this year, I don't think, on my album. On my album. <laughs> on my album. From this year? I have something from this year on my album. I do. Which is crazy. Uh, on my album? Yeah, I said the same thing, so we did. Cool. Uh, but we'll get to that in a little while. So that was my number eight, everybody. We're going to get there eventually. What is your number uh, seven Drake song of Zero all time? Zero to 100. Really? Wow. Cool. Real fucking quick. 
And I don't, I don't, I don't necessarily disagree with it. I just don't have it on my list. Um, yeah. Um, one of the only Drake songs that came out in 2014. That's a fun fact for put you. A, he didn't put out, like... He didn't put out an album that year or a mixtape or anything like that, but he wanted to put out something, so he put out 0 to 100. Did he put it on any album afterwards? No. Nope. Right? He just left it on his own. Which is fantastic, because I hate when people do that. We, had, <laughs> we, we talk about it all the time. I hate, I hate, hate, hate. But Cardi B put Bodak Yellow... On her on her album that came out this year with that when that song came out in the summer of last year, you want to explain that to me? It's her hit, bro, and it's her first album. They gotta go together. Nah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Nah. Uh, like nah. when did Gummo come out? Gummo. That's my point. I'm not saying that's his hit. Like that's, <laughs> that's the song just... he's known for. You gotta throw it on the album. Six Nine's putting. Four... He has it on his album two times. Six Nine. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, put, he put that hit twice on his album, <laughs> and somehow he somehow managed to make one of the times he put both he put the song on his album twice. He made happen to make one of them worse than it already was. Yeah, uh, I don't like. I every time I hear, I listen to the whole like song, and then I hear Quavo. I'm like, ah, oh, wrong one. I like turn it off. It's also, it's also the wrong Migo. Oh, what, which one? The takeoff, offset, offset. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is offset. Take off, oh, offset. Offset. He says his name. BMW, what, a B E W in the middle, at the end, <laughs> and the left, on the left. Um, so cut zero to one hundred. Why, why do you like it? I put zero to one hundred. It's fucking hot because it just reminds like around the same time I caught start uh, started from the bottom, uh, yeah. from the bottom, and what the fuck was the name of my first one? I always forget, I was like almost forgot the first time too. Looking up things on air. Worst every- behavior. I don't know how I forgot that. Worst behavior. Start from the bottom. All three of those I was like listening to at the same time. Um, so like, they all bring back feel good memories to me. Zero to hundred is also a lit song, and Drake is pretty gangster in that song too. You know what I'm saying? And all three of those songs, except for really, yeah, no, start from the bottom too. That video, he's pimping with the car. He's pi- he's pimping. He's pimping. Um, that's cool. So that that is your number seven. My number seven. I don't know which song to talk about. Because I can talk about two versions of the song. One features somebody, one doesn't. The one that doesn't is the more popular song. And the song that you can get on Apple Music and Spotify and everywhere music is and the radio. But the only place you can find the song with the other feature on it is on YouTube. Which makes no sense to me. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about the one that doesn't involve the other feature and just has Drake and Lil Wayne on it, which is the, the motto. Uh, hey, hey, you know? All right, all right, I'll talk about it when I get there. Okay. So um, It's kind of fucked up the way it sounds on uh, without the feature, too, because he has, like, a line in there. He, like, says one thing on, on the one without, without Tiger. What did he say? It's like, fuck. It's like something they were already saying in the song, and he says it once, and then he's not in the rest Oh, of the real song. N-word, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real nigga, what's up? That's it. Um, yeah, so, it's this, that's funny. Uh, I don't know why Tyga got uh, got booted from the yeah, song. I get it. Nah, it's, <laughs> not, not, it's not even yeah. like it's a long song. It wasn't even like, like he had to have gotten booted because he had that line in, in the first place. So it's not like... <laughs> and he filmed the music video. Hey, man. With the... hey, man. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, young, yeah, a little beef and young money, I guess. Hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. So, um, yeah, I, I, re- I really like the song, the motto. I guess we'll talk about it later. Foreshadowing, I guess. I, I, I kind of like going second because it makes me ruin his list a little bit more. <laughs> what are you going first? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I it, this song. Gave the birth to a catchphrase or a, a, a meme phrase <laughs> that uh, didn't catch on it well at all, and uh, but it like tried to for a really long. Yeah, time. everyone tried. Everyone tried very very hard. Uh, <laughs> I think it lasted for a little bit. Like, I guess so. <laughs> YOLO. But yeah, I had like a, I have a post on my Facebook somewhere that says like, "This isn't YOLO," and it's like people drunk at like a party, and then there's like one under it's like "This is YOLO," and then it's like people skydiving. <laughs> you know what I hate? Like, Yo, this is lit. This is lit. <laughs> My dad, he's such a buzzkill. Cause like, <laughs> he's like, I go, I'm, I'll be making a joke. Like I can just make a joke, right? I can just be like, he'll say something. I'll be like, I mean, you know, YOLO, dad. You know what I'm saying? 
He's like, <laughs> um, not you don't you don't only live once. We all go to heaven, and and that's and we live our second life there. And I'm like, Dad, it's a it was a joke, but <laughs> but um, I don't know if that's necessarily what people meant when that phrase came out. If you did, that's weird, but um. Whatever. It's a fun song. Little Wayne's fun on it. Drake's always, always cool. Uh, and then Tyga, poor Tyga. It's his birthday today, isn't it? Yeah, he turned 29. <laughs> oh, the day we're recording this. Yeah. Um, yeah, nigga, what's that? That's funny. So, it is what it is, but that is, that is my number seven pick. We are going to number six. What is your number six pick, my good friend? Where's my phone going to lock? Yeah. We are two fifths of the way. My number six is Mono. <laughs> is it really? Yes, yes. <laughs> yes! Uh, literally, literally the same exact reason. Uh, just because the, the birth of the phrase that uh, everybody tried to use for a little while and didn't really catch on, but did in the same. It's weird. Um, it was my ringtone. Was it really? Yeah. <laughs> how old were you when it was your ringtone? Well, how old were you when they came out? Like 12, 13? I don't, uh, yeah. Seventh grade, like 12. No, actually, you know, it's, uh, Drake, it was seven years since Take Care was released the other day. So that means 2011, where I was either 11 or, no, it was was probably 12. I was either 12 or 13. We were either 12 or 13. So. In 2011, we were 12. So you can't have have been 13. Yeah. 2011, bro? 2011? Your birthday is June 21st, mine is July 20th. When those dates came, we turned 13. How are we going to turn 13 in 2011? Jared. Oh, you're right. No, wait, no. No, wait, no. Yeah, yeah, you're right. No, we were 11 yeah, turning yeah, 12. Yeah, yeah, what's up? What's up? Yeah, I'm out either, yeah, either 11 turning 12 or 12. Because it came out in the summer? I don't know. <laughs> no, so it was the other day, so it was November. Who cares? So we were, Who cares? We, were, Who cares? We, we, were we were 12. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Does yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's banter. Banter. Um, yeah, it was my ringtone, and my mom got mad at me because... Curse words in the song. Play it while uh, we're at the store, really loud. And I had a the store. Huh? The st- no. What? The stores. The stores. Really I want to play that. I want to play that for you after this podcast. Yeah. My whole life. <laughs> I warned you. I warned. You. I said, "Hey." You shouldn't even told me. You should be like, "Nah." You're good. <laughs> thinking, are you? What's funny? I was gonna. I was gonna screenshot it and send it to you. And then I was like, "I don't want to ruin this one." <laughs> and then we even if the- you did it, even if you're like, you know what? And I was like, "Nah." I would have been like, yo, tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> tell me. Tell me. <laughs> to the stall. Um, okay. So anything else you want to say on the, on the motto before I reveal my number, number six is? Nah, that's really, you pretty much covered the whole thing. All right. So my number six song is... The beat's the, hot for motto too, by the way. But that uh, My number six song is, is the most recent. also, re- uh, that's <laughs> this is the most recent song on this list. It came out this year. This... I don't know. I'm not even going to try to attempt to tell you what month it came out in. I don't remember. It's nice for what? What do you mean? Uh, I think that this is one of the Drake's best songs, honestly. I mean, clearly. Uh, I, I don't think I've heard this much soul and energy and rhythm in a Drake song in a very long time. And this was just so upbeat. It was just It's so like, it managed to be the perfect mix of pop and rap at the same time. And I think that's why it got so popular. And everyone was even saying, this is, this is one of Drake's best, because God's Plan came out, and uh, which was cool. That came out in February, I know that for a fact. And then Nice For What came out a little while later, and that just that took everybody by, by, by storm. That, that song was so much better than God's Plan, in my opinion. I don't even have God's Plan on my list. Um, you know either? Cool. Nothing from, I told you, like... Nothing, yeah, nothing from recently. Uh... So yeah, uh, that's yeah. Nice World's pretty hot. Nice World's pretty 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 lit song. Again, the beat is incredible. The the lyrics are fun. Uh, I just I happen to, to very 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 much like that song. We are half almost. We're halfway done with our list. That that was our number uh, six pick. So second half, everybody. Now from here on, they're like pretty obvious songs. Mine aren't. I don't think mine are at all. For me, I told you mine from the jump. Mine are all like fucking. My number five is Controla. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Why so wow? I didn't expect you to say that at all. Really? Yeah, I did not expect it. Wow. That is pretty recent, though. Not from this year, I said. Oh, okay. Wow. Wow. 
control. More more so um more so for the fact of the memories this song and two other songs in this section bring just because about 20, 2016 this song came out, right? Summer 2016? Probably like the best summer of anybody in the world's life. Besides maybe 2015? But um I like the song, I like uh the 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 the, the, the I don't want to say like West Indian sort of like feel it had to it too and just really really what? I was just a tribute like Jamaican. Jamaican yeah but Regaton. That's that's Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but I, I like the feel the song had to it. It's, it it reminds me of uh, good times. And that's really it. Even though that one's that one's bitten, right? He stole that song. Or was it was it one dance he took? What do you mean? When that video we watched the other day, the one in the sun. Oh yeah we watched a video the other day of Ten times Drake cop another artist, and it was like it was Quentin Miller, I think. But was it controller? Mm, no, it was too good. It was too good, and then it was ten bands. Yeah, so no, we're we're good. You're still good, Drake. You're still you're good right, with us. Right. Uh, ten, uh, too good was like I guess you could say a runner up, but really, that's cool. Uh, I I didn't even think to put that song on my list. To be honest with you, that's cool. I mean, I don't. I don't know if I were to even think about that song, where it would go on my list, but um, I think I'm, I'm happy with my list never, either way. My number five is a song that was already mentioned. It's a song that was, that was on your list already. Happened to be your number 10 pick. Uh, it's Worst Behavior. Worst! <laughs> uh, I like this song um, for the, like, the, the build-up, the, uh, the aggressive flow. Uh, the second half, yeah, the song where, changes pretty where, he, where the song changed, where he kind of you know uh, takes the flow again of uh, of Mace of a Mace verse. I don't feel like that's like the same as like. So I feel like he didn't do that in like, with it, like thinking no one would notice. You know what I mean? I feel like yeah, he purposely did that to like pay homage. Fresh Montana did that once. He he on Loyal by Chris Brown, the whatever version he was on. There was like 50, there's fifty million versions of that song everywhere. Um, French Montana literally just takes, uh, I think a Biggie verse. He just literally just spits a Biggie verse. And that's it. Like, and that's it. He just, he just, he just, he just that's it. He just, he, that, that, it's over. Right. I'm like, yeah. what? Like, he just, he just took the whole thing. Um, but yeah, worst behavior. I, I, I can't really say anything that you didn't say. It's, it's cool. I, um, especially the song change like we already mentioned. Uh, the music video is fun. I like the music yeah. video, um, and it just it proves that Drake is just very, very versatile, and uh, diverse in his ability to make music. And the worst, worst. So that's that worst. my number five. What is your number? Number four. Number four. Number four. Quattro. Hold on, we're going home. That's on my list. Well, wow. yeah. I, mean, I wonder what's on your list. That's not me. I'm actually gonna do this. Like, I expected like one of those to be on your list. Okay. Um, I like the video for this song a lot. That's probably like the main reason it's so high on the list. Thinking about it now, I'm not sure if it should have been. I feel like there's probably like other songs that could have taken this spot. But it's like the way uh, this is one of this is my favorite. Well, one of my favorite Drake singing songs that he's made. Just because I like the feel to it, I like the the vibes. Once again, the you know the vibes, you know the vibe, you know the fuck vibes, and the and the relationship uh, sort of feel to Drake is always. I feel like he. But this is good music when he's talking about uh, love. 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 Uh-huh. Um, but yeah. The music video was the longest music video I've seen but I like in the last 10 years. You didn't like it? I don't even remember. I, all I remember is I'm sitting at a table. Like, she didn't the girl get kidnapped? I don't know. Something like that. Uh, I just remember it being really long. <laughs> That's it. But it's a good song. It was the intro to his album, I believe. I, I think. I don't know, man. I can't confirm that for you. It might, it might, it probably wasn't, and I'm just being stupid, but... No, Tuscan Leather was his, his intro song. That was my honorable mention. Really? Yeah. Wow. Look at me, knowing things. Um, that was your number four, right? Uh-huh. We're getting, we're getting to the nitty-gritty, ladies and gentlemen. My number four is a song that I already know is on your list. Marvin's Room, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. It's not on my list. It's not on, list it's not on your list? No. What? No. <laughs> what? It's not on my list. Are you surprised? Yeah. Are you not to t- 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 It's not on my list, bro. If you know me, you would know what my number one was. 
I know what your number one is because it's my number three, and I just wanted to, I just wanted to piss you off. I want to hear what it is. Um, when, what? Wow, that's that is insane. Uh, yeah, so Marvin's Room I think is Drake's best singing song. Ooh, kinda. Um, yeah, it's it's such like a, like an intimate song, you know. I I didn't you know no one's really ever seen that side of Drake before where he's kind of like like in, in, intimate. He's Draken. He's Draken. That was where Draken was. That song is where Draken was born. Um, it's a, like a six minute song too on the album version, which is like crazy. Uh, the the bridge, like the third verse, where he starts kind of like going off. I guess is the only way to put it. I really enjoyed. Um, yeah, there, there's just a lot of un, to unpack with that song. Some somebody hurt this man, and he's let it out. He's letting it out. Let it out. Uh, he does a he does a, he does a great job too, where he like kind of makes you believe that he actually feels the things that he's saying. Cause I doubt that. I mean, maybe it is off like a real life situation, probably but like in his past. Or probably in his past, like yeah, like every other Drake song is, but um. Yeah, it, it's... I don't know why I just thought this, but, like, I remember, like, there was, like, a point in time where I was not listening to the hip-hop, and, like, I just remember coming back, and Drake had, like, a beard and long hair, and I was like, who is this? Like, I didn't... Long like, hair? Not long hair, but, like, longer hair than, than the than the, the season. Okay. And I was like, who is this dude? Like, I actually didn't know who was Drake for, like, a few minutes. Really? Like, yeah. It was, like, mad early in the morning, I just woke up and school. Worse. Worse. So, I, I, I believe that my number three is your number one. But I, I don't want you to kind of. I don't want you to say it if, it, if I'm right or I'm wrong. But we'll, we'll see. But go ahead. What, what we're gonna, into the top three, everybody. My number three is Hotline Bling. Wow. Cool. You want to talk about why it's your number three? <laughs> why did you say wow? Hotline Bling. That song was hot, bro. Can't even say that wasn't one. That, that song, song came out. That song is hot. That song was heat. I got that song. I bought that song two times. Two times. Two times because that song was hot. Nah. <laughs> That song was like, that song came out in the summer, yeah? I just remember that song being lit. When I first heard it on the radio, I was just like mesmerized. Come on from a Yankee game. Um, yeah, so, uh, that's not on my list, actually. I don't know if that's surprising or not. Mm. I don't know. Uh, no, it, it's a very good song. The only reason I don't have it on my list is just because like, it's, it was so overplayed. Like, I just... I mean, I feel like you can't really judge the songs. Well, okay. It's a song where if I were to li- hear it on my phone now, I'd skip it. Just because I've heard it so many times. I mean, yeah, me too. Like, But that doesn't mean it's not like a great song. You know what I mean? I'd probably skip half the songs on my list, to be 100% honest with you, because I heard them so freaking much. I don't know. I mean, I, I'd like to think of the song... When I pick a song, I want to I wanna have the song be something you could play for, like, here... And forevermore, mm. and maybe some people could do it with that song, and I don't blame the people that can. I just personally can't. But I understand why you put it on your list. It's I, if you if you if I knew you were gonna put it on the list, it's higher than I thought you were gonna put it on. But mm. that's cool that you put it on. Yeah. Um, number three, number three. That's cool. So my number three is a song that I believe is Jail's number one, and I really I believe it's Drake's number th- third best song of all time. I don't. Th- I don't think it's better than the two that I have above it, um, but the song that I have is number three. Drake's not the only one on the song. <laughs> no, it's not my number one. Really? Uh-huh. It's not your number one. Uh-huh. Oh, now I'm now I'm tripping out. Now I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm lying. Oh, you're lying. Yeah. yeah, my number three is "Take Care, Everybody." If you, yeah, that's my favorite song my ever. <laughs> my favorite song. I don't even care about my listening, but that's my favorite song my ever. <laughs> Came with Jack. Came with Jack. It's not good. That's how I keep. Um. Yeah. So every time I hear that song, like, my heart just drops. No, I'm, you know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna talk about it yet. I don't want to. I'm. I'm not gonna say anything. We're gonna talk about. I am. Yeah. We're gonna talk about it later. Talk about it later. <laughs> so and, oh. my number three is "Take Care." Uh, so instead of, instead of explaining, you want you want to just give us a little rendition of "Take Care" for a little while. What do you say? Yeah, just sing the chorus. Nah. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. Uh, cool. Well, that is my number three. We were in the car the other day, and I was like, I, I know what your number one is. And he was like, what? And he was, you were just naming a bunch of songs. You know what's funny? Because when you said that, I was not thinking of that song. Even though I know that's my favorite song. And I had, like, some other song in my number one. And then I was, like, doing my list, and I was like, that's 
for that little one. <laughs> I was like, what am I doing? That's funny. Uh, you're up, you're up, princess. It is number two time. Oh, two time. One dance. One dance. If you don't, by the way, if you don't play one dance after controller, you suck. That, that me up. No one, no one understands. No one understands. That's the only, that's the only way you can listen to this song. You have to listen to controller first. And then that's you play one way. dance. Either, either like that or just one dance by itself. All right, but so if you, you listen, play controller, you, you have to play, play one, one dance, dance after, after it. it. That's, that's it, it, only, it just makes sense. It only made me put fucking control as number three because of that. Really? No. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Okay, that's not on my list, by the way. Um, I have to explain that song. That song is just... That song is like the song of that summer when it came out. Even though every time I say that, you're like, it didn't come out in the summer. But it doesn't matter. That summer is when it was popping. Um... It just is a feel good song, dude. It, it brings the vibes, you know the vibes. It brings the vibes back. He, he, Jared's thinking about the song and dance. Look at it. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun. <laughs> That's like what made me like the song too. The 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 vocals, the lady singing. Who is that? Do you know? Uh, Wiz Kid. No, it might be the producer or I don't know. I don't know. Right. Uh, <laughs> Whoever it is, you have a nice voice. Yeah, you have a nice voice. If you're listening out there, uh, that's cool. anything else you want to say? Because I know, I know you like that song a lot. You want you want to talk about it anymore? Not really. Okay. Well, <laughs> my numero. Can you freaking Xbox notification? No, it wasn't Xbox. What was that? Porn. It's It's right here. I got, I got a. Uh, what was that? I can't even find it anymore. It don't even matter, do you? Don't freaking no, because it was always oh, Regal, the movie, the movie thing. Um, my number two is a song that is on Drake's first album, and is I think the best Drake song without a feature. Ooh, foreshadowing, foreshadowing, foreshadowing that he has ever made, and that is over. What? You knew that? No. Why'd you mouth it when I said it? I like did it like a millisecond after you were saying it. That's like, uh-huh. yeah. So yeah. I didn't think that song either. I should probably I would have put that song on. I thought that too. Intro's amazing. Beat that is amazing. That song got me hooked on Drake too. Flow is amazing. Hook is amazing. Video is hilarious. He's in hell. That's why it's funny. That's hilarious. Um, there I. That song is just it's so it, it's it's such a hype song. And it just, it just cemented Drake as this force in the rap game where I can't even, like, you can't argue with Drake's presence. Whether he takes lyrics, whether he doesn't, whether he takes flows, or he doesn't, whether he takes beats, or he doesn't. Drake is Drake. You No one's, no, no uh, Drake has this sound. Drake has this, and if he did take it, he did it better than whoever he took it from. Clearly, he's popular. <laughs> Uh, so, but not over. I don't think he, I don't think over was taken from anything, but, um, yeah, I... That was the first song I heard a rap on, I think, too. Yeah. Personally. I, you know what's weird? I find it sad that, because we're about to get to our number ones, we're going to read our honorable mentions first, but, um, I, I think it's, like, weird that whenever we go to, like, the number one songs, it's either a song that everyone already knows like, it's, like, their most popular song, like, with the Exit of Tentacion list from us. Because um, I, I had Jocelyn Flores, you had Look At Me. So, yeah, it's, like, his two biggest songs. And then we had... Um, yeah, and then, my, and then mine and then yours, that I already know, is one of, like, the first songs that he, like... Like his early, some of his earlier songs, and that's weird. Why do you, why do you think it is that like we can't really make one of his more recent songs m- higher on the list than maybe it would be in a couple of years from now? For me, anyways, I said, you hear my fucking voice? That sounded so stupid. For me, for me, anyways, for me, anyways. <laughs> um, not hate him, but I'm starting to like like Drake a little less and less. Like, not like... Whoa, whoa! I don't, I don't not like him, but like... <laughs> Alright, let me rewind. There's people that like... I like more than I like Drake Wait, Wait to tell us when we're about to point, At one point, right? <laughs> Fuck Drake. No, at one point, Drake was my favorite artist. Now Drake is on everything, and Drake is everywhere. And I feel like 
the more you have something, the less you really like care about it. Way to tell us when we're about to finish the podcast. We're talking about we're glorifying Drake. He's music. pretty lit. He's pretty lit. I'm not gonna front, but like I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to like him less and less. But that's not what I'm saying. <sighs> Man, I suck at speaking. If you guys haven't told him the last uh, five no. podcasts we did, but um. I don't even know how to say it. No, I get what you're trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. I think they hear what I'm trying to say too. But yeah, thanks freaking everywhere, man. You gotta give some other people some uh, room to shine. So uh, before we get to our number ones, one of them was already revealed. Uh, you're gonna be surprised by my number one, by the way. Uh, wait, let's talk about our honorable mentions. Do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Uh, I said my honorable mention. Oh, it was I Tuscan Leather. Yeah. That was your only honorable mention. Yeah. Oh, I thought when I just happened to say it, you were just, like you thought, oh yeah, that would be an honorable mention. No, that that was my honorable mention. If I, like, wanted to put the rest on, like, Passion Fruit would have been one, Over would have been one. Wow, so why Tusk- Why do you like Tuscan Leather so much? Because I, I just, I, I, it just happened to I like the beat mind to that is. song a lot. And, like, every time I think that song, for some reason, I just think of that, that Ellen, De- Ellen DeGeneres reference she makes in the song. I don't remember that and That one. song, like, made me, that, like, made me, like, be like, yo, back in those days, like, back in, like, 2015, when I heard it. Was it 2015 when it came out? Tuscan Leather, 2013. Then 2013, no, 2015 is when I heard it because it was like late. I was late, but yeah. Um, I fuck with Tuscan Leather. I like I like his flow on it. I like the whole song, I like the whole song as a whole. But I didn't think it deserved to be above Worst Behavior. It would have been my number ten. That's cool. I didn't say. Um, like my mom. Hey ma, come here for a second. Every episode. Hey ma, just come here. Hey ma, the hey ma today. We're gonna find out. We're gonna we're gonna do. We're gonna find out. We don't just like to give our opinions. We like to give the opinions of everyone around us. Hey, what is Drake's best? It is hot in here. Hello. How was work today? Good. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> I was gonna say good morning. I'm I'm out of it. You wanna come on camera? Nope. Okay. What? How you doing? How you feeling? Great. Cool. Well, Hi, what what is what is Drake's best song of all time? Probably Find Your Love. Find Your Love. I didn't even think about that song. Wow. You killed in that video. Th- that's, a pretty, that's a pretty good pick. Eh? That's a pretty good pick. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Or um, what's the other one I like? I'm singing in my head because I don't remember the words. Yeah. I don't remember the song. Wait. I, I can think of the words, but I'm not going to sing it. How does it go? I'm not going to sing it. So, so, it. so talk it. it. I know way too many people here right now. Over! That's my number two. That was my number uh, two okay. best song of all time. Hey. Cool. Good picks, Ma. Yeah, you know. Good, good picks. I have my moments. Cool. That's my, I'm old, but I have my moments. That's, that's mom, everybody. Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Fine. Did you have a nice day today? Yeah, it was great. Cool. Mm-hmm. Love you. Thanks for your opinion, Ma. No problem. See you later. <laughs> so, uh, wow, that was a pretty good pick. Uh, yeah, I wish I freaking thought of it. Yeah, I, you know, I thought about it and I just didn't put it on any of my list. That would have been an honorable mention, though. I don't think I would find your love. I don't think I would have put it I on I didn't think list. about that song at all either, so. Nah. Um, your mama seed. I have Best I Ever Had as an honorable mention and then One Dance Not My Bling. That those are. And Energy. Energy. Yeah. Energy is an, an, an honorable mention. Uh, we don't. Do you. Do we have anything from. If you're reading this, is too late on our list? Which was like. Uh, know, arguably, know, know yourself was one of his best tapes. Yeah, and know like, yourself was was he? That was like my favorite song for that whole album. Th- there are songs I I like. Uh, I guess honorable mentions for me. Which one is the one that goes? That's like. Oh, uh, uh, six, six six god. Yeah, yeah. That album was really that album was fucking tumble. It wasn't really an album. It was a, it was a mixtape. I guess it came out of nowhere, didn't it? Yeah, and that was one of his like. Best tapes. We don't have any songs from it, but I like the song "No Telling." I like "Now and Forever." I like oh, Six yeah. God." I'm pretty sure every song on that that album is pretty solid. Yeah. Except for like, I don't like that one with uh, the Wayne on it. I like the one with "Party Next Door" on it. That was I. Preach. Tell like he's saying "Creech." Creech. 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 Um. Well, since you you were holding it in for this entire podcast, do you want to go ahead and and say what your number one? I'm gonna let you is? finish. But Take Care is the best song of all time. Is that it? Best Drake song of all time, bro. So, go ahead. I'm, I'm, the microphone, the microphone will be past JL. Here we why go. I, you're going to be speaking on it until you didn't speak on it? Why, did not, why do I love this song? Why wouldn't I love this song? 
Right. Everything about the song is absolutely perfect. Right. The two best people in the world on this song. Right. Wow. Even though Drake, no, I'm just kidding. That's kind of I'm lying. Rihanna's pretty hot, but <laughs> okay. She's not like. Um. So another one of those songs that you bring back. Kale's <laughs> yeah, gonna be tight. She you knows she, we, she she ain't dumb. You call, you call she know Rihanna hot. hot like. She know Rihanna. Rihanna. She know Rihanna hot. Why are you gonna lie about that pole? Okay. So go ahead. But yeah, um, that's another one of those songs for me that bring back mad memories. Here, hit me. Um, now I have nothing to say about this song. Freaking got all my hype out. <laughs> that was it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, the I, best Drake song. How, how do you feel when you listen to the song? I just feel like a mixture of like sad, but like. Happy, it's so weird, bro. I don't know why. Don't even tell me why. And the best part of that song, not the best part of the song, but like the song that gets me like hooked is the <laughs> you know what, about, right? <laughs> the what? The what? The what? The go ahead, it feels uh-huh. good. Now go tell you. I don't really like um, the video for that song, but I it's not really like. The video with the black and white video? Yeah, the whole video where they're just not really doing anything. Where they're just sitting there like... Yeah, just like... <laughs> My mind didn't change yet. I still feel the same. It's a lovey song, bro. It's love. All about that love, man. That it's love. all about the love. Is that, what, is that what gets you the love songs? Love songs, man. It hit me right in, my, right in my heart. Right in your heart? Yeah. Your heart is That's funny. Um, So my... If you could... Do you have a guess of what my number one is? Uh, give me a hint. Uh, he's not the only one on the song. A little better hint, because it's like a lot of people. You know. <sighs> it was not. It wasn't on one of his albums. Is it a guy? Or is it a girl? Is a feature? I can't. I don't want to give it away without just guess. Just give me a guess. It wasn't on his album. It wasn't on one of his albums. It's one of his early. It's one of his earliest songs. Oh, then. Uh, Something it, everyone knows. Is it, he a feature? No, you can't. You can't do that. Though. He's not a feature. Yeah. I'm looking at my, my, my songs real quick. I did kind of cheat with this one, though, because um, <sighs> Drake isn't a feature. It's it's a Drake. But he's barely on the song, right? No, he's uh, not barely on the song. He's on the song more than anyone else is. Is that that one with Timbaland? Nope. Uh, the, the, wait, let's tell me let's tell me let's tell me That's a Timbaland song. Bro, I don't, I don't remember that song like that. Let's I don't see. think it... So, yeah, I, yeah, I kind of... I kinda, uh, I kind of loopholed my way into this number one song because Drake necessarily isn't the reason why I think this is Drake's best song. <laughs> um, is he singing on it? Both, rapping and singing. Put the key under the mat and you'll not be over that on? Nope. I don't know. Yeah. So 2009, everybody. And I, again, I, I loopholed my way through this because um, it doesn't say featuring Drake. It says Drake... Plus, oh, it's mad people on that song, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Last name ever. First <laughs> so, name greatest. So, so, yeah, I loophole my way through it. <laughs> song is stupid long. My man. number one song is Forever by, Dr- is on by that Drake, That's a good pick. Kanye West, Lil yeah, Wayne, had to up and there. Eminem. And I, Eminem is my favorite part of that song. No, yeah, so I... I remember that part. Again, loophole my way, because Drake isn't a feature... Because when you look it up, it says this song is by Drake, Kanye West, Lil Wayne, and Eminem, which means technically it's a Drake song. Uh, Drake's on the hook, though, which is, you know, kind of, for continuity reasons, it's cool for our, li- for our list. Uh, again, like, yeah, the, the, it's one of, it's one of the most, like, I, I feel like co- in, uh, in terms of, like, rap collaborations, it's one of, like, the most, it's going to be, like, one of the most iconic rap collaborations. Imagine, like, in, like, ten, like, ten years from now, we're all like, whoa. These four guys made this song together. Yo, you know what part of that song had me just tripping when I first heard it? Last name ever. That's why I said it. Last name ever, first name greatest. When I was like young, I was like, oh. Oh my gosh. Yo, this guy's crazy. The name. <laughs> How out of the video was like, first name greatest, last name ever. Uh, <laughs> but he flipped it. He said, that's the genius. Because that's how it'd be on like websites and freaking applications. And so that's my last name first. They can put the last name second. Don't, um, can't do that. <laughs> Any song where Eminem is threatening to eat my face, I, it's just you can't like. How sick is that? Come you on, you have no face to save. You get, <laughs> I, I, I uh, again, Drake isn't necessarily the reason why I have it as number one. Who is? But it's the best Drake song. Who is? Eminem has got to be Eminem. But like, why did you say anything when I said it? If you were gonna, if you're gonna rank the verses on that song from from Eminem. best to worst, how would it? Or worst to best? Let's do worst to best. I don't remember Kanye's. Cause mine, mine would be Lil Wayne, Kanye. Drake, Eminem. 
Go ahead. Oh, from worst to best? Yeah. I don't remember I don't remember Kanye's. So I'll put him like dead last. Kanye, Drake, Lil Wayne, Eminem. You think Lil Wayne's versus better than Drake's? Why? I don't know. I like it better. Well, I didn't really, I never thought of it as a Drake song anyways. It's, only, it's on only, by the way, it's on Drake. It, the only the only channel you'll find it on is Drake's music video YouTube channel. I only think of Eminem in that song anyways. Really? Yeah. That song's been a long time ago. It was like 2009, which is crazy to think about because... Damn, we know rappers remember the same as you... Because <laughs> you want to spit the whole Eminem no, verse right no, here? No. Do you know it? Yes. Really? Yes. All right, everybody. We're going to have JL spit the uh, the Eminem verse from forever as we close out this podcast. Go ahead. Nah. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> I had to say it in a rappy tone rather than saying it. <laughs> nah. Nah. So, uh, yeah, that that is... In our opinion, the top ten best Drake songs of all time. Uh, I think our lists are pretty solid. I think it's going really, to be harder for people to, to, to pick, in my opinion. So you're going to win it. <laughs> no, you don't know that. Guys, vote. We're going to vote with the eye above our heads. We encourage you to vote to see whose list was better. Uh, I want to see ten. I want to see at least ten. Because every tune single, in next week where Jaron wins every single one of the our best pod, Drake list. Every single one of our podcasts so far has gotten more views than we have subscribers. Up top for that, we're getting our name out there. And uh, what's up with the likes? How the likes looking? The lights, the likes. We never got a dislike before. Really? Cool. But that means we ain't famous. <laughs> what? That means we're not famous. Yeah. You gotta get a dislike to be famous. It's facts. Cool. <laughs> um, That's facts. Uh, so, let us know what you guys thought about our list. Whose list was better? Um, and we will see you next week for hopefully our album reviews whether it be and if, one and if we don't have what are we going to do just we'll figure it we'll out just talk we'll figure it out uh, I think that was our best episode in my opinion where we were just talking I did like that episode I like that episode a lot where we were, ta- where we were just talking that's going to be that the first ever first of the month everybody if you guys like that episode wait till December 1st we're, we got we got some more stuff to talk December about December no not December 1st 7th. the first the first Tuesday of December December 7th, X's album comes out, bro. December 7th, X's album comes out. Mm-hmm. Also, we have another album review to do. We can do that. Yeah, we, do. we can do that inside the pot. Well, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that that's going to do it for this episode. Guy, new X song came out, too. I, I guess you forgot because uh, we're going to do our fun fact of the week, everybody. I Googling know. things on air, everybody. We're Googling things on air. <laughs> 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 Still googling things on it. <laughs> Hasn't even typed it into the search engine. Googling things on it. Well, what did I put in last time? Huh? What did I put in last time? I don't know. Didn't you have a bookmark? I mean, yeah. Didn't even bookmark it. Yeah. Book Didn't it. even bookmark the page. Yeah, we know I ain't doing so we're work. googling things on it. <laughs> oh my god! Just look up fun facts, bro. I forgot what, else, what it was called. There you go. So in the meantime. Uh, <clears throat> in the meantime, while Jay is looking up a fun fact for the Culture Twine podcast, fifth fun fact of uh, the week. <laughs> You're stalling. Did You're stalling. Huh? And didn't somebody say something about that? Yeah, they like, they like our chip ASMR. Um, I have a fun fact to everybody out there that I don't even have to Google. You ready for this? If you do it, I'm not going to look at you. Know, like me. I wet myself. <laughs> that's the... that's why my leg is white. That's that. I was wondering what that is on the floor. <laughs> on the floor. Um. Anything? Anything interesting come up? Because we're because we're googling things it? on air. Everybody, we are googling things on air. I gotta make noise to stall for time because he's googling things. There's like on ten air. I can say, but like they're like worse than the ones I already said. Scotland has 420 words for the word snow. Scotland has 420 words for the word snow? Yeah, 421 words for the word snow. Why do you use so many words for the word snow? Man. What's wrong with snow? Does it give you any examples? Nah, it just says 420 words for the word snow. No, not like a description. Oh, yeah, it does give me too. Yeah, give me give me, give me, me a, a, syn- a synonym for snow. Fiefly. Fiefly. Flink a drinking. Flink a drinking. Flink a drinking. That's got to be made up. Hey, Amen. A light snow for flink a drinking. <laughs> A fiefly to swirl and a sneasel to start raining or snow. I think this is a fake news website because what's the next one? 
Samsung tests phone durability with a butt-shaped robot. Are you kidding me? I see that one. Before. This can't be real. I seen that before. You never seen that? No. What's another one? Johnny Appleseed's fruits weren't for eating. Johnny Appleseed's fruits weren't for eating. The fictional book. A cow bison hybrid is called a beefalo. <laughs> this is a fake news website. Hey man. <laughs> No, I want a real fun fact on my podcast. Our podcast. We got it. We got it. <laughs> you, how do you find a fake fact website? I clicked on the first one, bro. So we're back to Googling things on here, everybody. Googling things on here. I this one last week. Oh, there we go. Cool. So what's number two? That's probably fake, too. No, I can believe banging your head against the wall is 150 calories. In Switzerland, it's illegal to just... Wait, it's... In Switzerland, it is illegal to own just one guinea pig. To own really? They gotta have a they gotta have a friend, huh? Yeah. Oh, there's a description this of is it. Because guinea pigs are social animals, and they are considered victims of abuse if they are alone. I think this is a lie everywhere. Wow, I don't. That's no, that's cool. I've always wanted. I've always like liked the idea of a pet of pets having a friend. When I had my turtle, I wanted to have a friend. Maybe that's why I died because it was so lonely. My cat had a friend, then it died, and then she died. That's going to do it for this episode of Cultish by Podcast, everybody. We'll see you. Zena doesn't have a friend. Zena doesn't have a friend. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> um, we'll, see, we'll see you guys next week, hopefully, for our uh, album reviews. Whichever albums they may be, maybe it'll be none. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll do something else, but we'll see, we'll see when the time comes. So, uh, I am Jared Walker. This has been Jail Armwood. He's got to go get up and turn off the recording now. So here we go. Oh, wow. Oh. So you lost. His lip, his lip, kissed the kid. His lip touched the microphone a little bit. Complete accident. I feel like it's going to burn a lot now. Hey. Whoa, everybody. Boo-doo.